Uh, no, I want my hat. Yeah, swap the hat. Give me my hat back. I'm gonna walk around wearing that silly bowler. Now, can I really quick... I know they witnessed a robbery and we're gonna get in some trouble here, but can I really quick just go over and, uh, put the boot in? <laughs> I absolutely can! Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Well, hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, and today we are back in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, for the last couple of episodes, we haven't done much in the way of advancing the story. Although we did get Mrs. Jeff out of the deal, so I'm not going to complain too loud. But yeah, I am thinking, in this one, we are going to pick... Apparently, the map says we've got three different missions to pick. But yeah, we're going to pick a mission, we're going to go do that, and hopefully we'll get the uh, story underway. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. <laughs> I miss Grimshaw. Gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. <laughs> I Put have the a they're not the going to. And try not to kill them. It's okay, very bad for business. The document. Okay, we got Lily Millet, Robel, and Chick Matthews. Okay. So, reclaim a debt, and I saw something about putting it in the debt box. Is that like the camp funds, maybe? Alright, well, I suppose we'll figure that out as we go. Oh, here's somebody singing. And he's the one that turned me into a dirty little whore. <laughs> he asked me for a candlestick to light him up to bed. He asked me for my handkerchief to wind around his head. And me being a little fool and thinking it no harm, I jumped in bed beside him to keep my sailor warm. Singing, home boys, home, it's where I want to be. Home, boys, home, with the girl on either knee, with that little ribbon top and hat and that coat of navy blue. Let him climb the rigging like his daddy climbed up you. <laughs> he rumbled me, he tumbled me, he screwed me to the wall. He never let me catch my breath, I got no sleep at all. He up me and he down me and he caught me out and in. And if me black, black and blue, blue though of course it was a sin <laughs> and early in the morning before the break of day he handed me a ten pound note and these words did he say take this me darling for the damage i have done nine months from now Good morning. a daughter or a son and if it be a daughter nap the darling on your knee and if it be a son send the bastard off to sea with that little ribbon tartan hat and that Cold and navy blue, let him climb the rigging like his daddy climbed up you. <laughs> Ladies, I can't help but think it might be a little early for you to be that schnockered. Hello, Mrs. Jeff, are we ready to go to work? Yes, Daddy, we are, but we need to pick who we're going to go after. Alright, we have got Big Valley, 
And over here we've got the Guthrie Farm and Emerald Ranch. Now if I remember correctly, Emerald Ranch is the maid. Guthrie Farm was the uh, farmhand guy. And Big Valley was Mr. Oh, it actually says on here. No, yeah, we got Mr. Roble. Pretty sure he was Big Valley. Lily Millet was Emerald Ranch. And Chick Matthews was Guthrie Farm. Okay, well, we've got uh, Big Valley here right next to where we are already. So how about we head for Mr. Roble and go have a word with him about his debts. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see us. Okay, I think I figured out where, uh, what's his name is hiding. Now, Mrs. Jeff, stay here. I don't know if he's going to be in the house or the barn, but I think we'll start with the house. Oh, you know what, Digby? If there was ever an appropriate time to kick the door in, I'm thinking now is it. Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. Oh, there he is. Hello. Oh, crap, he only God speaks Polish. Damn. All right. Well, let's confront him. English. Uh, you me, speak English. Me, uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. I'll Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Aha, uh -huh. uh, German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das uh, this uh, uh, the uh, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money, money that you borrowed. From Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh, uh, he says. <laughs> yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> Um, dude, I have a gun and you don't, so if I was you, I would definitely cough up the big bucks. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, sorry, dude, wrong answer. God damn it, you have a debt to Harry Strauss, pay up! Stop! Już nie mam siły! I'm trying to be nice to you, dude, but you insist on lying to me, so... How about now? You remember it now? No! No! no. Whoops! Okay, I actually needed to, uh, not do that. <laughs> Alright, back to the thumping. Some goodies. So let's see what the dude's got to offer us. Better be something somewhere. Very valuable. Good. All right, cigarettes. Not that's not much of an help. Apparently that one's empty. So what's back here? Aha, the bedroom. This is going to be where all the goodies are. You must have come here with something. Oh, I'm sure there's something somewhere. Let's uh, whoop, wrong button. Yeah, let's look in the dresser. Wow, dude has nothing. Longer I look, the madder I get. Yeah, if you want to tell me where things are, dude, I would really appreciate it. Oh, actually, he's kind of standing in front of that table. It makes me wonder if maybe there's something in there. How about you, uh, step aside there, friend. Let me have a peek behind you. I guess we're going to have to save that for later. I'm pretty sure we went through that dresser. Which means, if there is anything good, it's probably in the kitchen. Alright, he said he had something fine, but I'm not seeing it anywhere. 
What about this little thing here on the end? Can we grab that? No. Alright, well that leaves one more door, and I think this is actually the back door. It is the back door. Alright, dude, you're holding out on me because there's absolutely nothing in your house worth stealing, so... Can I actually punch you? Uh, nope, but I can move him. Yeah, I had a feeling. What do we have here? We really Why stole his wedding ring? Just keep quiet. Okay. That should about cover things. Yeah, dude, the uh, 14 bucks is for the debt, and the wedding ring is pretty much just the price you pay for being a pain in the ass. Don't hear nothing, don't see nothing. Last time I tried to investigate gunshots, right. somebody oh, tried yeah. to kill me. I mean, the dude is like right there. Um. Hi, what are you shooting at? You there? Would you be interested in some friendly competition? No. <laughs> Okay, now, are you going to be the guy on the, uh, bench? Actually, it says go speak to people in the area and find out where he's hiding, so I'm going to guess that's not you. Really quick, though, let's give Mrs. Jeff a quick brushing. She's starting to look a little scrappy. Yeah, that's better, girl. Let's make sure you're not hungry. Uh, yeah, feed my horse. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll give you a little bit of love. Right, How's that sound? Girl. Actually, speak of the devil, am I hungry as well? I'm trying to do better about keeping track of this stuff, so... Items. I am... Not hungry, reasonable energy... Don't think I'm all that tired either. Perfect. Alright, dude, have you seen the guy that doesn't want to pay his debts? You Chick Matthews? Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Where? Oh, and there he goes. So long! Oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, Lone Shark. Hold that thought, dude. Hold that thought. We are apparently going to have a high-speed chase. Now, where did you go, dude? I lost track of you. Shoot, where is he? Where is he? Where the hell did he go? Oh, crap. He's going to be the yellow dot on the map, isn't he? All right, that's fine. We can catch him. After all, Mrs. Jeff is the fastest horse in the West. I'm thinking I want to get my last two out here really quick, so hopefully we can just rope him off the horse and not have to shoot him. The more I chase, the more you Alright, this guy's an asshat, so yeah, him I'm happy to beat up. Mr. Crap. All right, hold on. Try that again. I'll get more than a dead off you. Gotcha. All right, now, dude, you're gonna take a kick. Out. Oh, yep. Yeah, sorry, Mrs. Jeff. Hold on. Yeah, you step out of the way. Hey, 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 now. This map will take you to the money. Lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Oh, we are totally gonna take his teeth if that's still an option. Um, no, 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 you get back here, dude. You get back here. I want to thump you. I owe you a good solid smack in the jaw. Come on, that's what you get for running. Well, this map better take me somewhere good or... Uh, suppose right uh, okay, I yeah, I lost a little bit of rep for that, but you know what? It was totally worth it. Okay, search the highlighted area to find the debt. Use the treasure map to help identify a location. Well, it's in a big tree with like a face on it, so it shouldn't be that difficult, right? In fact, there's a nice big tree right there. Are you the tree I'm looking for? 
Oh, hold on, it's telling me I can search. So yes, I'm going to guess this is the tree. And I know I see the hole right there with the treasure in it. Now, what exactly is this treasure? Oh, okay, it's a money clip. Kind of looked like a book when I pulled it out. gotta be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's gotta be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now, lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Okay, so, uh, a couple episodes ago, we actually rescued a lady whose horse had crapped out and brought her back here, and I was kind of wondering if maybe it was going to be her, because she was talking about a deadbeat drunk husband and what a piece of crap he was, and now, based on that conversation, I am going to guess it is her. So hopefully we can be nice to her and not have to beat her up. In fact, with any luck, we'll just beat up her husband, that'll be fine. Okay, Lily... Darling, I'm gonna try and be as polite as possible here. Oh, don't you threaten her with a backhand, dude. I will take that silly hat off Lily. your head and kick it sideways up your... Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got! I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murders! All right, well, you didn't knock my hat off. Ah, for God's sakes, look. Learn to block. There we go. There's your hat going. All right, seriously, Digby, you can fight. You know how to do this. Here. All right, dude, you're starting to really annoy me. You're starting to really annoy me. I cannot for the life me remember how to block. Hold that thought. You know what, dude? I'm just going to beat the crap out of you. There we go. Kick him. Kick him while he's down. Get him again. Get him again. I fully intend to hurt the crap out of him if I can maybe just... Yeah, break free, break free. Thank you. Oh, come on. We can't lose this fight to this idiot. There, you friggin' ass hat. He has all my money. I, I gave it all to him. Just take everything that you find on him and let's be done with this. Please. Leave me alone, won't you? You've got the debt. What do you want? I didn't steal that. It's a debt. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's not a robbery. I just want my hat back, thank you. I don't want his stupid hat. Uh, no, I want my hat. Yeah, swap the hat. Give me my hat back. I'm gonna walk around wearing that silly bowler. Now, can I really quick... I know they witnessed the robbery and we're gonna get in some trouble here, but can I really quick just go over and, uh... Put the boot in. <laughs> I absolutely can. This hat cannot be stored and be lost if left on the ground. Uh, Mrs. Jeff, why are you on the wrong side of the fence? Alright, Mrs. Jeff, we are back. Donate the recovered debt to the camp funds. Gotcha. First things first, though. Let's park the horse. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Okay, so is this actually an extension of the missions we just completed? Or am I done for the day and can I save and go to bed? No, one way to find out. I can. Okay, so this one is going to be... I was going to say optional, but you know what I mean. Alright, look. Turn the menu off, go to the map.
Oh, you know what? He's not that far away. Like, he's actually closer than the other guy was. Uh, Alright, well, one more before we end the episode then, shall we? Can I, uh... I'm curious about something. Hold that thought. Can I go to... my items, get my binoculars out, and look at the wild horses? Oh, uh, yeah. Study it, please. I want to know about it. Yeah, no. Hold still. Horse, hold still. I want to learn about you. Okay, it's a Mustang. Ooh. I mean, I am half-tempted he says, as the owner of three horses already. Yeah. But yeah, I'm actually half tempted to go try and break one of those and see if it's actually the same minigame or not. Uh, Alright, well, you know what? Problem for another day. Right now, we've got a debt to collect. Alright, Thomas Downs, where are you? Oh, hold on. I can just yell to you? Oh, well, here's a thought. How about we park Mrs. Jeff, just in case? Now let's say hi. Downs. Where are you? I don't know why I expected him to answer. Alright, through the door we go. Or not. Are you in there? Can I see you through the window? Alright, well, he's not in that room. Doesn't look like he's in that room. Are you in the barn by any chance? Hello, doggo. Can I say hi to you? Alright, dude, you need to wash your dog. I suppose. Might as well try yelling to him again. Oh, Mr. Downs! And, of course, he didn't answer. Alright, let's go check the barn. Not in the barn. Hmm. Well, what else do we have for outbuildings he could be hiding in? Ooh, hold on, there's a fire over here. Is he over by the fire by any chance? Nope, not hanging out by the campfire either. Alright, dude, where are you? I mean, the longer I have to look for you, the uh, worse it's going to go for you when I find you. Well, here's a thought, Digby. Let's try breaking in the back to her. No. Can I, uh... Can I just smash it, please? Is there no way to just kick the door? No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, retrieve the debt from Mr. Downs, and now it's saying he's over here. You ah, there you are. Hello, Whatever dude. Do you want. Um, I want you to put that rake down, is what I want you to do. Uh, how about we just do this politely? What do you think? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... You're, um, um, what? We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Okay, I have a feeling I'm going to have to just grab him. So how about we try it with the lasso first? I said I would get the money, and I will. Just, I can't for a while. Let's see if we can get him to drop that rake. Well, that was pitiful. Let's try We've that again. Got nothing, sir. But when we have something, it will be yours. All right, that's not going to work. I suppose we're going to have to go with the old standby. Um, hold on. Yeah, stay there. The Let me, uh... Be paid. Let me get my hands back empty. When I can pay it, sir. There's... There's nothing more I can say. And now let's jump him. Really? Certainly, would yeah, you? Yeah, knew that was coming. Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. Well, I, I tried to be nice about, about this, and you wouldn't family. listen to me. Why did it have to come uh, to this, huh? Believe me. 
me, sir. I didn't want this either. Well, I feel a little bit bad about it, but I suppose we kind of have to do it. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. Yeah, that's more scooching than anything. You are a slippery little bastard, but I got you now. Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> oh, Christ. Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. All right, I genuinely feel a little bit crappy about that one. Alright, it looks like it wants me to talk to Strauss one more time, and I think, if I have the option, I'm going to tell him that the whole debt collection thing kind of sucks a little bit. I mean, sometimes it's enjoyable, like when you get to punch a wife-beating alcoholic jerk, but sometimes, sometimes it doesn't feel great. How did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. All right, well, turns out Strauss is not the uh, nicest person in camp. But end of the day, we completed the missions, we did get some money for the camp, and we did get to kick that jerk in the nuts while he was down. And on that vengeful note, as always, I have been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton.
Thank you.